it is Tuesday morning. Here's what I'm taking with me to work today. It's all very basic, very simple, and hopefully very delicious. So first of all, my zero point coffee. It is the McDonald's K-Cup with one tablespoon of dairy star fat free half and half for zero smart points. And then I have zero point teamy tea. It's my teamy skinny tea, one teaspoon for zero points with the juice of about a quarter of a lemon inside. So coffee and tea are zero smart points. Lunch today is an egg mug. So this is about half a cup of the great value egg whites. Um, I can't remember which ones, I think, hang on. It's these, egg makers. I like these because they actually have a little bit of yellow food coloring, I'm assuming, to make them look like real eggs. So yeah, they're a little processed, but I like them and it does say made from real egg whites. So I have a half cup of these great value egg makers for zero smart points. And then inside I also have two slices of Canadian bacon. It is the Land of Frost Canadian bacon for zero smart points. I have three slices of the Oscar Mayer oven fresh deli roasted chicken breast and that is zero smart points. I have a quarter cup of Kraft fat free shredded cheddar for zero smart points. So this entire egg mug is zero points and loaded with protein. So um, when I cook it in the microwave at work, I cook it for 30 seconds and then stir, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir. It actually bubbles up to about here. So the eggs fluff up really nicely and it makes a decent size amount. I will eat that with this salsa for zero smart points. So lunch is completely zero smart points today. And for snack, I'm having about a cup of this Hungry Girl's scoopable apple pie. It is the apple pie with the cranberries. So that is all zero smart points. And then I'm going to have a pear. So um, hmm, everything today so far is zero smart points. So I should have plenty of wiggle room left for dinner. Okay, I'm just in love with my outfit today, you guys. Check it out. I was going to wear black boots and then when I thought about the taupe boots, I was like, ah, perfection, just perfection. I am also super loving this lipstick still. This is the Ulta Lip Crayon in the color Cheers. So ah, some days, you know, it just all comes together. <laughs> okay, so as you know, I have been pre-planning and pre-tracking everything I can as much as possible like a week in advance so I have actually pre-planned pre-tracked everything that I'm having this week all the way up until next Monday because my weeks go from Tuesday to Monday so I've completely ple pre-planned and pre-tracked everything I'm actually going back to the office right now and I'm going to write everything in my paper tracker for this week and then I'm going to track everything in my online tracker for this week. So it's all done. I've already done all the math, all the creativity, all the brain work, the brainstorming. It's all there and that's why this morning I literally just had to grab what was written in my planner. I grabbed it out of the fridge and shot the video and there you go. I'm all set. That's why I was a little puzzled why it's all zero points but i initially um for this week the one thing i did change is that i had initially pre-planned everything with red wine for the week but i'm going back to the grapefruit bellini which is actually less points so i'm probably going to have either low lower points this week or i'll have some wiggle room on some of the days but i'm actually okay with that because i have um, some splurges coming up wednesday night that i can't really pre-track so I'm probably just gonna leave it as is and if I have a few extra points on the table that's just fine so now I'm getting ready to do my meal plan for 
next week. <laughs> so um, I have to, I try to get the meal plan done by Thursday so that I can do my grocery list on Friday and then I have to do the grocery shopping on Saturday. This is kind of a busy weekend so I wanna get a jump start and maybe do some grocery shopping on Friday. Um, so I just wanna get it done as soon as possible. So I am ready to do my meal plan for next week and I stumbled across, I usually just write everything out on like a little post-it and then figure out all the numbers and the meal plan and everything and then when it's solidified then I write it in my planner for the next week. So I stumbled on a little PDF this morning on the Weight Watchers website. It's called a Meal Builder Worksheet. Looks like that. So it basically, I mean it's super simple. I could have created it if I had time, but it just lists Monday through Sunday, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So it's super easy. It's, a, it's essentially gonna be what I write on a post-it anyway, but it just looks way more organized. It'll be a lot easier for me to look at and play around with the numbers and just get everything set in stone before I write it in my planner. So if you guys are interested in this, it is at the Weight Watchers website. Um, or if you are friends with me on Facebook, you can request it on Messenger or ask me for the link. So that's what I plan to do when I get back to the office is work on, first of all, writing everything in my paper tracker for this week. And then at my next walk break, I'll show you guys my completed tracker for last week. I actually finally completed an entire paper tracker for an entire week. I had a lot of things that I had to cross out and white out and redo. Um, that was mostly like on Friday, I added a few things because I had some mindless eating Friday night. And then Saturday and Sunday, I had just a couple changes. So, um, but I actually finished an entire week on the paper tracker. So at my next um, walk break, I will show you guys last week's completed paper tracker. And hopefully by then I will have this week's, yeah, I'll have this week's uh, paper tracker pre-tracked. Um, so what else is going on? I just, today is weigh-in and I feel really good about it. I feel like I've really worked really hard last week. I still had some slip ups, um, but I kind of moved through it worked through it, moved on, um, and I feel like judging by the scale this morning, I should be down at least a pound, maybe two. Hoping for two, but um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, depends. Like if I have an extra cup of water, I, I'm not going to be as low as I expected, so it, it could vary quite a bit, but I am expecting to be down, and I feel like I earned that. <laughs> And especially since last week was the weirdly high weigh-in, which I'm still attributing to beans. And I still can tell you that I feel so much better not having the beans in my life. The weird thing is though, you guys know my gut is like steel. And last night I took two teamy colon bags and steeped them. And this morning, nothing. So yeah, my gut is very, very difficult. So. It probably won't catch up until my teamy tea on Wednesday and that is my colon life. <laughs> it's not very fun but it is what it is. So um, I'm going to be running my four miles of intervals at lunch today. So not looking forward to that but I'm gonna just not think about it and just knock it out of the park. I need to stay dead on with all of my workouts this week because of the splurge on Wednesday and because Weekends, <laughs> the weekend will still be challenging. It's actually, it's gonna be exactly kind of the same schedule as last weekend for both days, Saturday and Sunday, except we do have a funeral on Saturday, but pretty much the same being in the car, feeding the homeless. I'm gonna probably do like car snacks and stuff. It would be nice to go out to eat somewhere. So um, I might try to work that in because I feel like we haven't even been out to eat for a while because on the weekends, we're just in the car doing stuff. So I've been trying to pack all those healthy snacks. So that's been good for us actually. So, but it would be nice to go out. So um, that's all I've got planned for today. My workout at lunch, and then I'll be doing a weigh-in tonight. So I, um, 
working on getting my 16,000 steps in. Um, since I'm only running three miles, it may be, I may be a little short. I may not have them by the time I get done with work. So um, I'm a little concerned about that because I definitely don't want to go home and get comfortable and not do them because then I won't. So, and also I really want to get them in before I reward myself with my champagne. So I may do an extra walk to the park today or I may walk over to the dollar store and pick up some Thanksgiving decorations because I love Thanksgiving. So that's my plan for today. I hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday so far. Rocking the plan. It's beautiful here today, um, but definitely just a touch of fall in the air. So I will see you guys in a bit. Three miles of intervals, 6.3 to 7.6, and it went great. Feeling good, and I also did three sets of tricep dips. Hey guys, second walk break. I am only at 10,500 steps, and I really wanted to get very close to 16,000 before I left work, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do three or four loops at the park right now. So I did finish writing all of my meals for the week in my paper tracker. And I also put all of those meals in my online tools tracker. I did only go until Sunday though. The reason is I thought I had planned Monday also. I haven't yet pre-planned any of next week's um, meals from Monday through Friday, my lunch stuff. And Sunday, I think we're gonna try and go to the Cheesecake Factory, which is challenging. They have their skinny licious or skinny whatever meals, so it should be easier. You would think it would be easier, but I think that their menu is like so overwhelming that it just, I always end up with something completely different than what I initially chose when I got there. So a lot of times um, I always look online first and then it just backfires somehow. So I need to be really diligent this time about looking for something that I really, really want to have and then just not even opening the menu when I get there or not, you know, just stand really firm in my decision. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research on that and get some suggestions from some other Weight Watchers people about maybe what would be a good idea to eat and still stay on plan. So there's that. Anyway, I was gonna show you guys my paper trackers and I forgot them because I really wanted to talk to you about something else right now. So last week I had touched on the fact that it feels like I was, and I think a couple other of you guys were going, we were doing one step forward, two steps back and like just not getting anywhere. And um, Hulisa actually chimed in and she said, that's me, I'm, I'm one step forward, two steps back. And I said, how are we gonna stop doing that to ourselves? And she said, willpower, question <laughs> mark. So that's had me thinking all weekend long um, about willpower because I always say I have zero willpower. So if I'm gonna rely on my willpower to stop this one step forward, two steps back, then it's not gonna happen because I don't have willpower. And really what is willpower? And how is there any other way to get the job done? So the next word that came to mind was actually discipline. And I'm sure that's because I'm listening to all these fat dad podcasts and he is very motivated, very focused and very disciplined. And all of that is totally rubbing off on me. So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about the difference between willpower and discipline and see if you can utilize this in your journey because I know it helped me to really kind of dig in a little bit and take a look at the differences. So the actual definition of, let me find it. The definition of willpower is control exerted to do something or restrain impulses. For example, most of our bad habits are due to laziness or lack of willpower. That's the definition of willpower. The definition of discipline is the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. So I don't necessarily like 
I don't like the phrase rules because I don't feel like Weight Watchers is a bunch of rules. I feel like it's a plan. It's an excellent plan. And I think if we train our, ourselves to adhere to that plan and follow that plan as it fits into our life, that is going to take us just as far as willpower, if not farther. Because, I don't know, when you know how to do something and you've practiced it and you know how to do it and implement it in your life it's not even necessarily a matter of willpower at all it's just doing performing the skill that you have taught yourself and that is discipline in my book so the question then is how do we train ourselves to do these things um, my next thought process was if discipline is training ourselves to follow this set plan then how do we train ourselves? Training is teaching someone a set skill or skills. Um, so we need to identify the skills in losing weight or trying to be healthy. So here are the ones that came to mind for me. Um, so first of all, we need to teach a skill and then have them practice it over and over until it's second nature, until you excel at that skill. So the skills that came to mind for me, weight loss skills, tracking, of course, first, first and foremost, tracking is like the program. Tracking is the Weight Watchers plan. So tracking is learning the points values of food or knowing how to look them up um, and tracking them over and over and over and over. Because of course we know that gives us an awareness of the foods we're eating and it teaches us the actual points of value of what we're eating. So the first and foremost number one skill to learn in my book is tracking. Number two is portion control and that is learning the proper portion sizes which are different for everyone and learning that it's okay to start small because you can always have more if you're still hungry, if you're still legitimately hungry. And then learning to weigh and measure foods for accurate portion sizes. And I guess that kind of goes hand in hand with tracking. You can't accurately track unless you're accurately learning um, how to measure a proper portion size. So that's my number two skill that I think we should all learn and nail. Number three is planning. You know I love this. Planning, um, starting with a set amount of points and planning how best to utilize them. For some people, this planning comes at the beginning of the day. For some people, it comes at the beginning of a meal. And for some people, this planning comes at the beginning of a week. So just learn how to plan and use these points. Learning how to balance daily points and weekly points. That is most, most definitely a skill and the longer that you practice this skill, every day that you put it into effect, you will get better and better at it. And then number four skill is activity, which I don't necessarily think defines our weight loss because um, as we know, I believe it's 85% or 80% um, of our weight loss efforts are what we eat and the rest is activity. So, but activity has many, many other health benefits and of course it definitely helps us maintain our weight. So first, we need to find an activity that works for you. Second, you need to plan it in your life on a regular basis. And then third, when it becomes too easy or you become stagnant or bored, um, learn when to increase the intensity or switch to another activity. So that is my skill number four for learning discipline when it comes to weight loss. And my last skill, is probably the hardest one to learn. It is overall balance. And that is where life comes in. So we, we should be sticking to the above skills, skills teaching, portion, sorry, tracking, portion control, planning, and activity. We should be sticking to those 80 to 90% of the time, but we have to balance living life. So one step forward and two steps back is more like sticking to the above skills maybe 30 to 50% of the time. And that's why we feel like we're spinning our wheels and not getting anywhere. But balancing real life situations with tracking, portion control, planning, and activity is the big skill that takes lots of practice. So these are just my thoughts this afternoon as I was contemplating, you know, the real, 
the real key is that number one, we have to start with a motivation or a why. Why do we even want to lose weight in the first place? Why are we doing this? If you don't have a concrete answer as to why you're doing this, then you're gonna fail. So you absolutely have to start with a why. And then after that, I don't think it's, it's not willpower, it's discipline. It's identifying and learning these skills, fine tuning these skills, and then practicing these skills every single day until you get them right. And even sometimes you're right, is gonna be far from perfection. So that to me is how we're gonna get it done and not keep going one step forward, two steps back. So this is kind of long winded. I hope you guys are following me with this, but it kind of just ties in what I've been saying last week and what I've been practicing for the past four or five days. It's not necessarily using my emotions or my want to get somewhere, but now I'm using my brain. I'm using my brain and my skills, and I'm really teaching myself and putting into effect the things that I need to do to actually get somewhere with this. So I hope you guys can take one or two of these skills and just fine tune them, practice them. I used to say that every day is practice for having a perfect Weight Watchers day. It's all practice. Yesterday you practiced so that today could be better. Today you're practicing so that tomorrow you're better. It's like learning how to play tennis. You have to practice in order to get better. So anyway, I think I've done like three loops and I've rattled on for 10 minutes. So I'm going to hit one more loop and I'll talk to you guys after weigh-in. Okay guys, it's almost eight o'clock and we are just now leaving Weight Watchers weigh-in and Weight Watchers meeting done. I gotta tell you guys, when I was on the way over here, I literally had, actually before I left work, but when I was getting ready to leave work to come here, I had a split second moment of anxiety. Like the kind of anxiety that tightens your chest right here, which is just ridiculous. And it's because I knew I had to weigh in. And I'm kicking myself for it because I don't want to feel that way about the scale, especially when I know I worked hard. So of course I wanted it to reflect on the scale, but I know in my mind and my body knows that I worked hard this week. So no matter what the scale said, I still should have been very satisfied with my hard work so and besides that if the scale is up it doesn't matter if I go and weigh or not if the scale is up it's up whether I see the official number or not so anyway I didn't I was not expecting that tightness of the chest anxiety it didn't last for very long but it was not good so weigh-in was good however all of my hard work, my focus, my steely-eyed focus and fire and determination this week totally paid off. I'm so happy. I was 138 last week and this week I am 134.6. I lost 3.4 pounds. So that is awesome. Number one, it goes to show that I was having some serious bloating problems last week. And again, I am totally blaming the beans. It may be a few other splurges and mindless eating stuff, but um, beans. And number two, it also shows that my hard work and determination and um, just really nailing the points and planning and getting my steps in, all of that paid off this week. So I'm very, very, very happy. And the ironic thing is that the weeklies this week, the whole group meeting was about beans. <laughs> so I kind of tuned that out, except that um, edamame is technically a bean and I love edamame and edamame is not seeming to cause any problems in my stomach. So that is good. So I'm gonna keep eating edamame. It's got lots of good protein. So I did not have my, uh, speaking of protein, the protein I had for lunch was good. It was filling. I also used some of the everything but the bagel seasoning on that. We talked about that in my meeting today. Somebody said they found a new seasoning. I was like, oh no, no, it's not new, but it's awesome. Um, so. Anyway, the protein filled me up for quite a while. I am hungry right now, though. I did not have my 
scoopable apple pie yet and I did not have my pear. So right now on the way home, I'm going to have a pear. We actually have to stop at Trader Joe's and stock up on some Bellini and some more of that everything but the bagel seasoning. But this looks so good and so fresh, doesn't it? I'm excited to eat this right now. Okay guys, big shout outs to Eddie who puts up with so much. Eddie just waited in the Trader Joe's parking lot while I walked around the Trader Joe's neighborhood to get my last thousand steps. Thank you, Eddie. And thank you for this awesome new jacket. That's right, it's a mini jacket. It's got blue polka dots and flowers. How cute is that? Thanks, Eddie. You get a double whammy brownie points today. Woo, 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 woo. I'll take the brownie. I go back to Trader Joe's, I'll buy you some. <laughs> okay, it's 9.05 and before I show you what I'm having for dinner, look at this impressive pile of bread. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of rolls. These are, and these are actually really good. These are our Alfaro's Artisano Bakery Rolls. They're so good. They're really soft. Eddie's mom picked up those for us to feed to the homeless this weekend. We are looking to feed about a hundred. Hopefully we're doing soup and bread this weekend. So that looks really good. <laughs> so I hope they enjoy those rolls. Um, I actually saw these rolls at Walmart when I was doing my roll research. And one of these rolls is three smart points, by the way. And at Walmart, they're like two, 250 or something. Eddie's mom got them for a dollar, a package. So what a steal, what a steal. Anyway, here's what I'm having for dinner. So there is my, huh, here's my paper tracker. Um, here's dinner. So this is the very last of my Thanksgiving soup, which I have loved. I love this. So here's what's in it. I have three ounces of grilled chicken breast for two smart points. Actually, it's not grilled. Sorry, it was just cooked in the crock pot. So three ounces of chicken breast for two smart points. I have one serving of stove top stuffing for three smart points a half cup of the Heinz fat-free gravy for one smart point. I have a half a cup of corn for two smart points and a quarter cup of fresh cranberries for zero smart points. So that is five, six, seven, eight smart points total for the soup. And then I'm also having my cranberry salad or cranberry jello. So that is about a half a cup of fresh cranberries ground, um, some orange and orange rind ground and a half cup of sugar-free cherry jello all zero smart points So my dinner is three four five six seven eight. Is that what I said? three four five six eight smart points for the soup Zero for the cranberry salad and then I did earn my grapefruit bellini I hit my 16,000 steps. So I'm having this with frozen grapes 18 smart points so 18 plus eight plus um, zero. I had zero today, so that should be 24. 18 plus eight, 26, 26 smart points. So 26 smart points for my day today. And this is what I'm taking with me for fruit tonight. I probably will actually eat this after dinner because it looks so good. This is the Hungry Girl Scoopable Apple Pie with cranberries that I did not eat for my snack today. And then um, one little tiny, look how small this apple is, one little tiny apple. Both of those are zero smart points and I may or may not eat those. Remember, I am taking those into the bedroom with me to help prevent my mindless night snacking. So once I eat this and I have my beverage, um, if I feel like I need more food, I am not leaving the bedroom. I will be having either one or both of those. I have given myself permission to have both if I need both. Last night I had a peach and a pear that I took into the bedroom with me and I did not have either one. So that's good, but I like that it's there for me if I need it. So that's my plan, and this is what I'm having. And now it's time to go watch This Is Us.